<clears throat> this is um, Noah's Flood, according to JTEX, the Yast. Now it came about when man, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born to men, that the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves, whomever they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, because he also is flesh. Nevertheless, his days shall be one hundred and twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and afterward, when the sons of God came in to the daughters of men, they were born. They were born children to them. Those were mighty. Those were the mighty men of old. Men of renown. The Lord saw the wickedness of man, <coughs> and the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great upon the earth. And every intent of his thoughts of his heart were only evil continually. The Lord saw that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. The Lord said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, from man to animals. To creeping things to birds of the sky for I am sorry that I have made them but Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord then the Lord said to Noah enter the ark and you you and all your household you <coughs> you alone I have seen to be righteous before me before me in this time you shall take with you every clean animal by sevens male and his female and of animals that are not clean, too, male and is female. Also, birds of the sky, by sevens, male and female, to keep offspring alive on the face of all the earth. For after seven more days I will send rain on the earth, forty days and forty nights, and I will blot out from the face of the land every living thing that I have made. The Lord, Noah did according to the Lord, no, Noah did according to the Lord commanded him to all that the Lord commanded him then Noah and his sons and his wife and his sons wives with him entered the ark because of the water of the flood <clears throat> it came about after seven days that water of the flood came upon the earth the rain fell upon the earth for forty days and forty nights those that entered the ark, male and female, all flesh, entered as God commanded him, and the Lord closed it behind him. Then the flood, up, flood came upon the earth for forty days. After the water increased, lifted the ark up, so it rose above the earth. The water prevailed, increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark floated on the surface. The water prevailed more and more upon the earth so that the Lord so that all the high mountains everywhere under the heavens were covered the water prevailed 15 cubits higher than the mountains 15 cubits higher and the mountains were covered all that was on dry land all in whose nostrils was the breath of the spirit of life died Thus he blotted out everything, every living thing that was upon the face of the, the land, from man to animals to creeping things to birds of the sky, they were blotted out from the earth. And only Noah was left, together with those that were with him in the ark. Then it came about at the end of forty days, Noah opened the window of the ark he made. Then he sent out a dove. <laughs> from him to see if the water had a, was abated from the face of the land. But the dove found no resting place for the sole of her foot. She, So she returned to him into the ark uh, for the water on the surface of the earth uh, for, the, for the water was on the surface of all the earth. Then he put out his hand and took her and brought her in the ark himself. So he he waited 
yet another seven days. And again he set out a dove from the ark. The dove came back to him toward the evening, and behold, her beak, in her beak was a freshly picked olive leaf. So Noah knew that the water was, a, was abated from the earth. Then he waited yet another seven days and sent out a dove, but she did not return to him. Then Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and behold, the surface of the ground was dried up. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took every, every clean animal and every clean bird and a burnt off and burnt offerings on the altar. The Lord smelled the soothing aroma, and the Lord said to himself, I will never again curse the ground on the account of man, for the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth, and I will never again destroy all living things, and I will never again destroy every living thing as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. And that is J text of uh, Noah's flood. What do we see in J text of Noah's flood? What is it? Well, we see the Lord seems to be. It's God is never called God. It's always Lord. Y H B H Yahweh. 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 He seems to be a human being, doesn't he? He seems to be an Olympian God, a God above the God created the earth, but he's kind of a man. In his heart, he is flesh like me. Um, in his nostrils, uh, um, the J writer doesn't seem to know about Moses. Did God give the law at Sinai or Horeb? No. Man always had the law. Everyone always practiced kosher and unkosher. Seven clean, burnt offerings. It wasn't just the, the priest. This writer seems that it's not just the priesthood that can make sacrifices. Anybody could make sacrifices. So mankind always knew the law. And was it the floodgate to the heavens? And, no, it just rained a lot. 40 days before he died, it just means it rains a lot. What the hell is an ark? We don't know. It has a covering on it. It almost seems like they're in some type of big bowl or something, and they put a put a put a a covering over it. Very odd. But this writer is concerned with the view of the Lord is different. They all they don't they they seem to think man had always called God Yahweh. There was no incident at Sinai where where Moses is before a burning bush. This author doesn't know of that. He was always called. He was always called Lord. This one doesn't seem to know that it's uh, you know I am that I am the existing one. It's just that's just the name. And if the Lord isn't a isn't a person, it's certainly anthropomorphized. Now in the J story of creation, which I don't need to read because all you need to do is go to go to um, Genesis chapter two verse four, and that's the start of it. This is the account of the heavens. That's redactor. And then in the day the earth, in the day when the earth was created, before that, you have a changing of in the account of the heavens and the earth. You know, this is the account of the heavens and the earth. You know. Um, before that, chapter 1 is P-text. And what do we see in uh, J-text? God walked through the cool of the shade. Not God. No, sorry. Not God. The Lord. Yahweh. Y-H-V-H. Y-H-W. So, this is very strange. And the writer, the redactor, couldn't have two floods. This is obviously the same account. So he spliced the two floods, the two flood stories together. So 
So it just rains a lot. 40 days and 40 nights just means it rains a lot. We see that he's take that Noah is taking um, clean animals plus birds, seven seven of each clean animal, seven of the birds, and then did it say two of every unclean or did it say unclean animals? I believe two of every unclean animal. Yeah, two of every unclean animal. Now I'm going to read P-text. Alright. 